Welcome to the Trump Breaking News Network, your daily source for up to the minute Trump news. Join us today and every day. Here's today's news. This is TBNN poll. Support for Trump growing as majority back his immigration measures. By Jeff Newcomb. Even as lawmakers and celebrities voiced their objection to President Donald Trump's temporary immigration restrictions, a new poll shows that a majority of Americans support his executive order. A poll from Zogby Analytics found 52 percent of voters are in favor of halting immigration from seven Muslim-majority countries for 90 days, while 41 percent are against the measure. In regards to the restrictions on refugees for 120 days, 47 percent said Trump's order did not go too far compared with 44 percent who said it did. The poll also found that 48 percent of voters approve of Trump's job as president, while 43 percent disapprove. That represents a five-point jump since Zogby's last poll in January. Trump holds considerable support across several key demographics, the survey found. A majority of men surveyed approve of Trump's job thus far while half of women expressed disapproval, similar to Trump's election numbers. The president also has very strong support from Republicans, as the survey recorded an 83 percent approval rating, in addition to 43 percent from independents. A majority of younger voters, 1829, disapprove of Trump, though the president still corralled 40 percent from the group. The poll also found voter optimism in regard to the economy for the next four years as half responded that they thought things would go well. Job growth in January also bodes well for the Trump administration, as the country added 227,000 jobs and unemployment increased a slight amount, indicating that some Americans have resumed looking for work. In the twilight stage of Barack Obama's presidency, Republicans criticized unemployment figures, pouncing on the workforce participation rate which they said was a more accurate indicator of the economy's health. A record 94.7 million Americans were not in the labor force in May of last year, 664,000 more than in April, and the labor force participation rate dropped to tenths of a point to 62.6 percent, approaching a 38-year low. Critics of Trump's executive order on immigration, notably Senators Elizabeth Warren and Chuck Schumer, have been on the front lines of vocal protests in recent weeks. We will make our voices heard all around this world. We have all heard about this order that President Trump has given. It is illegal. It is unconstitutional. It will be overturned, Warren said to protesters at Boston's Logan Airport. An attack on anyone for their religious beliefs is an attack on the very foundation of democracy. Schumer called the immigration restriction mean-spirited and un-American. He and the president exchanged barbs about the tears that ran from Schumer's eyes as he spoke at a press conference in the wake of the executive order. Some are questioning Democrats' reactions to Trump's presidential initiatives. All the actions Trump has taken so far are ones he promised months ago to tackle immediately, yet they are all treated as shocking developments, Investors Business Daily said in an editorial. It is hard to see how Trump's critics are helping their cause when they react to everything Trump does as if it were a world-ending catastrophe. The Zogby poll was conducted Thursday through Saturday and has a margin of error of 3.3 percentage points. What do you think? Scroll down to comment below. That's the news. Join us here every day. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. See you next time. This is TBNN.